I saw the way a team's supposed to play when a head coach cut the football. The Raiders? Yes, sir. Military. What you talking about, military? Welcome to Parker's Sports, everybody. I'm Bobby. This is my man, Military James. What's um, going on, Bobby? Man, we coming back week six. Ooh. NFL Productions. Boy, and yeah, we got a lot to cover today. And uh, all I'm going to say, man, it's been some interesting football and some crazy-ass subjects going on around here, ain't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been a, uh, we haven't seen this in the league for quite a few years. We, we've seen it come and go where you have uh, a few things that transpire, like the injuries. We've right. had so many injuries this year. That's just been, uh, wow. Just think about that Giants team. They lost, what, four people in one game? Yeah, they weren't gonna make a difference in the situation. Hey, hey, I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna tell you something. Man, I talked about this the other night. Man, it, it should have been more of them should have faked it there, man. <laughs> I already know what you're gonna say. You love yourself so tight. <laughs> I love me so tight, Fred Scott, man. I'm gonna tell you something, man. Tell me this, else. If I would have seen how big your ankle, uh, your man, your man ankle was, man, I wouldn't say he done fake the injury, man. Oh, that ankle was huge. <laughs> it was like that a bowling ball, wasn't it? Oh. Hey, thank you coming back this year, man. Okay, so they said that um, after they ran the test and put that range of motion, it wasn't as bad as that initially. That's thought. a high ankle sprain, man. Now, we know a high ankle sprain, that's what? Sometimes four weeks, six weeks? That's nagging, the rest of the, nagging for the rest of the season. That's the rest of the season? Uh, because I think he may be finished maybe week 13, something like that, and come back. But, if, you, you know, you know, if I was the Giants, uh, office personnel, man, I would just shut him down for the rest of the year. And and they just need to build for next season, man. They already know they weren't going to do a damn thing. Well, I kind of agree. I figured go ahead and put him on IR to save him. Yeah. Uh, now you can get some of this next man up action going on. Well, see who else you got back there in the backfield. Who you got in that running back room that can actually do something. Maybe one of them guys that been on the practice squad can get elevated, and who knows what'll happen. But uh, now what you think about that Monday night game? Was that one of the best comebacks you've been seeing in a long time? Not talking about that Falcons. Brady Super Bowl. <laughs> that was it. Really. I'm gonna say this here, and, and I'm, you know, I'm gonna say no only because the coach should have never been in the game to start off with. The Ravens just was playing some sorry ass football, and you know then, what? and and then when they got in the fourth quarter, they just happened. Uh, they just happened to want to kick it in. Well, I think the Raiders. Not a few, not a Raiders, but the, the Ravens. Yes. I think the Ravens overrated. No, I thought I think they looked past the Colts. Okay, okay, okay. I think they was looking at a, 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 another game, and they and the Colts was winless. Yeah. So, if you playing a winless team, you can pretty much, you know, y'all been winning. You can well, they're not winless now. You know, the Colts won one game. Yeah, one game. That's really winning. Yeah, but I don't think the Ravens, man. Man, I'm gonna tell you something, man. I would, man, man, I don't care what Super Bowl, I don't care if it was an odd favorite, man, I still wouldn't bet on or with Action Jackson. Yeah. Man, because you don't know what you're going to get. He played, he, man, he played like a superstar. But you, but you, you seen what his percentage was? Yeah, I seen it. But he set a record. Yes, he do everything to fool you. I'm going to tell you something. You know the same thing like what the true action Jackson did, did it? He fooled you. <laughs> Be calm with us, Lord. Hey, man. <laughs> Dried up like a goddamn razor right now. All right, so what about that Chargers and Browns game? Man, 
man. That was a shootout. We didn't anticipate on that being a shootout. No, 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 no. Not no. even close. So that means nobody made defense. No, I'm going to tell you this. No. We started to find out exactly what the Browns up to. They ain't worth a crap. Now, they got all that firepower on offense. They ain't can't do nothing. Look, somebody said something that did, did, did put a little something in my crop. What they that? said, fourth and one. <laughs> Was it fourth and one? No, no, fourth and five, I think it was. Uh, and you trust the running back and not your quarterback. Right. Now, if this is your franchise quarterback, you put the ball in his hand. Make him do what he do. Yeah, but I think we already have an answer to that. Well, I'm going to tell you this. Did yeah. you see anything that impressed you on either side, either team? Yes. The Chargers are going to make sure they have them a winning season. That's the only thing that impressed me. You know, I love the scribe that the Chargers are doing. I love to see the Chargers, man. They're building something. You know, I love the coach out there, man. So, so uh, you know, you know, man, let's move on to them there. And, uh, man, that was a loss, man. I didn't even see this coming. But we know the reason why it happened. What, you talking about the Bears and Raiders? Yeah. Look, end of the week that wouldn't happen. Any other week that wouldn't happen. No, no. But the word distraction is the first thing that comes to mind. Yeah, and uh, we 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 gonna we gonna touch on that a little later, but mm -hmm. we, we ain't gonna get it now. But but I'm gonna tell you something. That's the prime example when they say when a coach loses a team. Yeah. But that what happened. But you know what else? We got exposed. That offensive line of the Raiders. Yeah, they, but they I, got exposed. Now, but remember, I'm they, not gonna really gonna say that because because I don't think they was focused. I agree. I, I yeah, do I'm not. not it was just too much distraction. You, you got to look at this here. We talking about the nerd, but the Bears, man. Come on, man. Man, man, man. It was a few weeks ago, man. We gave them the my guy stick. This is true. A matter of no, fact, no, no, no. I'm sorry. No, we did. We, we did whole that Tampa oh, hand, bro. Yeah, we. They got the whole offense. And coaches stay. The whole D got the hand, bro. So yeah, so yeah, yeah. So would you say the Raiders? That was double zero they drop. One for the game and then two for the emotional content that, that is not circling the team. Man, I'ma give a double an F, 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 F for the whole organization. The whole organization. <laughs> All right. So what do you think about the Eagles and Panthers? Now, to me. I did not see the Eagles beating the Panthers because the Panthers are playing some good ball right now. Okay, I'm glad you said that. And, and, and my whole thing was on some on Sunday was Sam Donald the turned it around, right? Well, <laughs> say that out loud so you get a name ring. You see, turn around. Oh <laughs> Look. Oh my God. <laughs> hey man, I'm gonna tell you something. <laughs> Once again, to fool somebody. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, you know, your true colors are who y'all, man. Maybe. You know what? <laughs> they ain't no maybe. maybe. How about this? The Eagles came with a really good game plan. They executed. <laughs> and they hey, showed man, up. The Eagles play. suck. Not Sunday, did they? Nah, not Sunday. <laughs> not Sunday. Not Sunday, man. But, oh, come on. Come on, man. This Let's move to the next game. All right, so the the game that that everybody said is going to decide who's going to represent the AFC the Super Bowl. This was the, the game of the week. Yes, it was. And the thing about it was everybody said whoever wins this game is going to represent the AFC in the Super Bowl. Now, you got the Chiefs. You got the Bills. The Bills is kind of got their little Bills Mafia. Yeah. You know, the Chiefs on the warpath. Uh, and I just did not see the the Chiefs that we used to see. No. No, they uh, all I can see and and the Reed didn't do a good job doing the drive. Uh, the defense, um, you know, that may be the worst secondary in the game. You think so? Yes. Um, um, the front forwards is terrible. Mm. Linebackers, I'm going to give them a C grade. 
Uh, you, you, you know, the only person I like on that defense is uh, is uh, uh, what, uh, uh, the what the the great to do name is D Jones. No, Honey Badger. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Terry Matthews. Yeah, but uh, but but for him being a free safety man, he only can do so much, so much. So yeah. uh, you know, uh, but. But other than that, man, I'm not going to count the Chiefs out just yet because, you know, because they got a quarterback, man. They can turn it around. Mm -hmm. uh, but but also, you know, they've been throwing too many picks. Uh, they've been getting too many crazy penalties. So, uh, you know, uh, but, but at the same time, the Bills will have blew them out, man. The Bills will have blew them out, but that's going to show me the reason why they took control of that game because the quarterback scrambled. Now you you could all uh now now I wonder what's Andy Reid thinking this in that we gonna see them again in the playoff. So I'm not gonna show them too much. But I mean you don't wanna play can play like you playing the preseason in the regular season. Yeah, but they already yeah, say so vanilla. Yeah, but they already say uh, that we're not gonna win the darn uh, division this year, so we ain't gonna show them, you know, cause we may get a wild card and uh, they might the not make the wild card. I think they will. They, you know what? Pittsburgh ain't got if, they, if they lose one more game, that may be it for them. Let me tell you this, yeah. Remember. Remember. We playing 17 games this year. They play 17 games. So they they so and an injury nine? So they can hurt. we so they can get in the playoffs. Ten and seven. So you got the one in ten games? You got the Chiefs one in ten games? Yes. Yes. The AFC is still weak now. This is the question I ask. But we'll talk about it a little bit more right, right. In, in our mid-season. Because this week ain't mid-season. Now we're down to wrap up. Okay, yeah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. We're still, we still a few weeks away. All right. So we're looking at uh, week six, the top games. Yeah. So we got the Bills and Titans. Oh, uh, oh whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm going to tell you this. Yeah. Man, it's week six, but we got some terrible matchups, man. It is what it is. It is what it is, man. But this is this is this is maybe one of the worst weeks we gonna see. Because most of these teams like Bills and Titans. Now we thought the Titans were gonna be a whole lot better than what they are. Yes we did. Yes we did. Uh so I'm pretty sure I'm going with the Bills on that. I think you're probably going in the same Yeah, direction. we going the Bills, you know, and and um if we here we're gonna rush for hundred and twenty yards, they're still gonna lose. Yeah. So we got uh the Raiders and the Broncos. And I'm going with the Broncos. The Raiders got too much baggage. The vultures are circling. And I think it's, it's a good time for the Broncos to break out. Hey, let me tell you this here. You, you know, I know a couple of dudes out there in Vegas, but they, they're not playing home. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's a good thing. Mile High is a tough place to play. Yeah, but they need to go up there and get their cardio right anyway, man. They need to win them during the... Uh, Man, cause they gonna need they need yeah. a bag too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, man, they need to go old school. Get that goddamn brown paper bag. <laughs> old school. Now, I think the best game on this whole list that we got highlighted is gonna be the Chargers and the Ravens. Um, I think that's gonna be a test for the Chargers, but it also gonna be a test for the Ravens because if the Ravens yeah. lose this one, they gonna say everything what I've been saying. Don't believe in that action, Jackson. But now, if they blow out the Chargers, yep. they, they might be on the path. I'm going to give them a little respect. Okay. Okay, okay. But, but I'm going to tell you this here. Until he win the Super Bowl, man, he going to have that following him that he's a hell of a regular season quarterback. Yeah. If he brought him in there with a bunch of 50 and older, would they constantly keep saying that you ain't Brett Favre? No, they ain't going to say that you're not even Trent them. Well, don't disrespect that man like that. Did you just say Trent Dilfer? Yes. And now Trent, now Trent is a but student Super Bowl, of the game. He's still Super Bowl winning quarterback. Super Bowl winning and he's a student of the game. And he has some great analysis. But they've had some good stats in the Super Bowl. Y'all want to you Yeah, he has a good stat. But he was not mobile. And he didn't need to be mobile. Man, he, he came. Was, he man, was dragging the transmission on the ankle. Man, he came out of the Sunshine State of California, man. 
Okay, that's not saying much. But we got the Vikings and Panthers. No. I'm going to Vikings. Oh, oh my God. I don't think the Panthers can bounce back. Let me tell you something, the Vikings to me, another wish this guy third season for them. Man, they needed to shut it down, man. I'm going to tell you something, man. By four, they playing, but they need to fake an injury, man. I really think that uh, the Vikings are going to turn around. Well, hold on. Have you ever seen in about a fake injury? Yeah. Yeah. And that's what they need to do, fake injury. Man. Yeah. They didn't need to just forfeit that game. Nah, 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 nah. The worst game that we're going to see on this list, Texas and the Colts. Oh, my God. I'm going to be looking for you, another sports that, alternative to that, watch. You know, uh, <laughs> that, that, you know why that's the game of the week? I mean, we're, we're, we're one of the best games we're going to see. Tell me, please enlighten me. Which one is going to position themselves to get a good draft? <laughs> so they're playing for picks. <laughs> Already. Week six. <coughs> Already. Oh, that, now that is funny. All right, our game of the week, which I technically don't think is the game of the week, the Cardinals and the Browns. Okay, hold on, hold on. But, but if you go back and look, if you go back and look, that is the game of the week. Hey, just again. I think, I, I, I seriously, uh, I think that Charging and Ravens game is going to be more competitive. I just think that. I think so, man, but you got to give her a zone. It's going to blow Cleveland out. But I'm going to tell you this, you know. Cle if Cleveland scored 20 points, I'd be surprised. So. I'm a, I'm going with the Browns. Mm. You know you what? You upset me? Yeah, because I think the human joystick may be hurt. I don't know. I don't know. That you know what? All right, all right. That that's the only reason why I would take them over there, man. But but uh, but uh, but I want to go here. That man. It's that man, time, man. It's that time again, <laughs> man. Hey. Hey, y'all see what this is? This is the tap of hand roll. <laughs> this is the tap of hand roll. But I'm going to get this tap of hand roll stick this week to the whole Las Vegas Raiders mm. from, the, from the coaches mm -hmm. to the management. Yep. Because I'm going to tell you this here. They say the email came out Friday. Right. But... The NFL been investigating this for years. Yeah. So but, I know they've been known. And then, you already. know, all of that started with the investigation under Washington. Yes. So they didn't go after him specifically. Correct. They were going, trying to, you know, figure out what's going on with Washington and yeah. in the midst of all of that, all of this yeah. chaos. So, came so all I'm going to say is just, uh, you know, Joe, you should, you should be sharing yourself, man. Man, I met you over at care what day years ago, man. Man, I should have put the iron paws on you, man. Well, you'll be in no email at the end. <laughs> yeah, but, hey, I'm going to tell you this. At, 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 at least I wouldn't be thinking about getting banned. Mm, mm, mm. Come not to bring them on. Ooh. Tell me this here. Have you ever seen a ceremony for you coming out to ring them on? Wow. The Buccaneers fan doing the ceremony for him coming out of the ring at all. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> that's going to be ins that's insane. Hey, man. So hey. who you getting your mic out still? Again, I have to give it to the Ravens organization for having the nerve just to let him resign. I'm not giving the <laughs> stick to them for that. I am, because, because you know why I don't talk to me. You know, because I'm going to give it up to the Davis guys because if it would have been any other organization, mm -hmm. they would have prolonged two weeks, three weeks, and saying um, um, that maybe we're going to do this. I'm going to tell you this. As soon as he made that statement after the game, to my, uh, this last time I'm going to speak on it, the Davis, the Davis son say, man, I'm going to get this motherfucker up out of here. I disagree. Why is that? He said he looked at Gruden as a, 
It's like son talking that. Now here's a problem. The only reason why he accepted the red tape next year is because the NFL pressured him. He let the man. This happened. He let the man still coach on Sunday. They came out Friday. But you know the thing about you it, got though? assistant coaches. But you, but that's what they there for. But hold on, I'm gonna tell you something. Though. You you already know. You know because I'm not gonna tell everybody your job on this air here. But I'm gonna tell you this. You you you, you know sometimes you got to do the legal way to cross your truth. Do you cross your T's and dot your I's? Yep. You you know you can't let nobody go. You can't just let you can't <laughs> kick them to the curb. You can't do it, man. You got to get them out. Out. You know in in the and and the whole thing about it. Uh, that you probably true about the NFL because uh, you cause you got to get the NFL back, you know, because because you already know because if you're something to come up because all of them are going to be in the, the whole lawsuit or whatever it may be. Yeah. So, so uh, that we're going to say, man, that's why I say, man, I give it to the whole, man, I, I give, I give, man, I'm going to give the whole management to my guy. To my guy stick just because we ain't got to be prolonged and, and c- continue to say get them out of there. I'ma say this. I'm gonna reserve my my guy stick and whether I'm gonna agree with you or disagree to all of the facts come out. Okay. Because if uh, let's just say more facts come out and they had known well before Friday, that may change my viewpoint. So conditionally right now, I will agree with you. We'll give it to the Raider organization. 